All right, so we can't find our way out. I stopped. I smelled oh, the rose. Okay. It's great. It's so well manicured. Enjoy the sound of the water feature. I don't know where you are with the bell chimes. G'day folks, Mike here, Everyday Part of Life, and today I'm out venturing at the Ashcombe Mason Garden Place here at Shoreham. Let's just hope I don't get lost going through the maze there. It should be a little bit of fun. But anyway, beautiful maze here. The gardens here are supposed to be spectacular. So we're going to check all that out for you. Hope you uh, enjoy the tour. A little bit of adventure here down at Ashcombe Mason Gardens. Let's head on in. All right, so as we come to the entrance, of course, you are met by this big fella here. <laughs> he just stands up there pretty tall. It's got to be about 20 foot tall. But the gardens as you walk in are absolutely magnificent. Have a look at that. That is like picture perfect. Picture perfect as you enter. Of course, they've got the gift shop there that's closed just today, unfortunately, or else we would have popped on in there to have a little bit of a look. But the garden as you walk in, absolutely magnificent. Got the beautiful flowers, little pathways you can walk. And of course, this is all set out on about 25 acres here, so it's going to be a grand tour of the place and there are thousands upon thousands of different species of plants flowers and everything here so i tell you what it's, uh, it's going to be a great place to have a little bit of a look around of course i'm not 100 percent sure actually how big the maze is but hopefully it's not too big or else it could take us quite a while to get through it find our way out hopefully we don't get lost as we can see just over there, that will be a part of the maze there. And there's a middle section there, which is where you want to head to and you can have a bit of a look out. So we'll be able to get up there, have a good overview. Of course, there's Ira taking a few photos. Always bring your camera as we say, folks. It's a beautiful place. Lots of things to take pictures of. Yeah, so it's going to be fantastic bringing this to you, showcasing down here at the maze and uh, what it has on offer and it's definitely a place I can sort of recommend so far because from what I see just entering into the grounds it's beautiful absolutely beautiful all right let's continue So we're going to head into the cafe now. There's the entry point. Of course, there is a little admission fee to get in here. Officially in the garden. So to get in, folks, it's eighteen dollars fifty Australian per adult. And of course, it's cheap if you concession. So as we had a look, that is the cafe inside. Of course, the cafe is closed at the moment. They're waiting to find uh, some good people to get in there and cook and all that to make it uh, top-notch food. But so far, this looks incredible. It's well manicured. Beautiful. Yeah, so it's hard to really know where to start. If you want to just come out here, have a bit of a look, grab a seat. You've got the little pond over there. We've got our map. You get a map when you come in to uh, so you know where you go. <laughs> go on throughout the area because it's quite big. It's quite big. I tell you what, it's absolutely beautiful here. From the short time I've just been in here, you know, for the 10 minutes or so, uh, holy moly, it's great. It's so well manicured. Everything is pristine. It's totally well looked after. This is definitely a place worth coming to have a look at. I tell you what, the kids will have a little bit of fun 
going through the maze over there, which we're going to do. And of course, I've got the rose maze over there. Now, that maze was over a thousand plants to uh, make that, and uh, that's going to be quite big. <laughs> All I know is I hope I can find the way out. All right, maze entry. Let's head on down there. But it's just a beautiful little bit of a walkway as we head on down to the entrance. Just have a look at that setting. Have a look at that setting. And of course, here's the entrance here. Wow, here we go. <laughs> so the question is, which way do you go with the maze? Do you go left, do you go right, do you go straight ahead? I don't know, but we're trying to tackle it somehow or other. And as you can see, these hedges here, they're about three meters tall, so they're pretty, pretty big. They've actually trimmed the middle section down here. They're, they're to about two meters, so obviously can't look over. If I want to cheat a little bit, I'll just put the camera up and I'll get a little bit of an overview. That's not a bad idea. All right, let's try and find our way. Oh, as we can see, dead end. Let's go back. So many lefts and rights. Now, I don't know if we should go that way. Which way? This way? Hang on. No, that way. I think we came from that way. <laughs> let's go back this way. I tell you what, it's fun in these mazes. Where do you go? Where do you go? And when you can't see over the top, you just, it's blind faith, isn't it? Blind faith. So have a look how big they are. Beautiful, lush. They've been growing for years upon years. Probably about 50 years they've been growing for. So still trying to find our way around the maze here. As I said, folks, it's a bit of an adventure bit of an adventure which way do you go oh now I've lost Ira all right so it looks like we might have found the middle bit here and we've got a spot here we can actually climb up and get a little bit of an overview which would be great all right let's head up and have a little bit of a look so as we can see, as we get a little bit higher up, you can have a look at a little bit of the overview of the maze, which looks pretty good, doesn't it? Of course, you've got other people. They're trying to find the way. Well, have a look at that. So that is the maze from up top. So as any wonder you get a little bit lost in the maze, have a look at all the directions. You can go left, right, straight ahead. But it's pretty cool, you get a great view from up here. And it's pretty big. So we've got this one. I think we've got another part two of the maze over, over there. Over there, and of course we've got the rose maze at another section. But I tell you what, it's a good view. We've got a beautiful section over there. We've got the uh, water feature there. And of course that's a beautiful little part where you can just sit, relax, you know, have a little picnic if you want. <music> Alright, let's head back down. One last little bit of a look. Now I think we've got to head that way somewhere and down the side. Alright, let's go. Let's go. I tell you what, it's a little bit of hot work, <laughs> working your way through the maze, but I think I've got a good idea what to do. Check this out. So, at least with a selfie stick you can sort of raise it up and come up. And see where we're going so that's a pretty good idea get the high view up over the whole lot and we can work out where we're going all right I think I'm bad at the exit point oh, I'm point number one all right so we have found the exit point to number one we come out to this beautiful beautiful section here this middle section of the garden
So we've come through just a small portion of what's here at the maze. And I tell you what, you can get stuck. You need a fair bit of time here because you are going to take it in. You are going to love it. You are going to just look, take pictures and explore it. That's amazing. Let's get on to the next part. Let's go. All right, part two of the maze. Let's go and see if we can find our way out. And this is actually, look at that. That's a bit taller, this one. Let's go and find our way. All I know is this is narrow. <laughs> it's narrow, but it's cool. Oh, look at this. We've got to even duck and go under some stuff here. Wow. Have a look how thick and twine this is. Any one of this hedge is solid. I think they prune it maybe three or four times a year to keep its structure and all looking good. I tell you what, you wouldn't want to fight, you wouldn't want to go your wrong way here. Whereas we'll be in here for a long time. Even this one, I don't even know whether I could put the selfie stick up and get it up high enough over these hedges here. Wow. Alright, now don't know if we want to go that way. So that's me reaching up the, the tall. So these are definitely a good three meters. Should we go that way? Maybe this way. Not sure. Which way do we go through the maze? Oh, do we go through that little exit? Around here. Hmm, don't know. Let's try this way. Oh, there's a gate here. That's a good sign. Uh oh, okay, so we can't get out there. Let's keep going. All right. So, where are we at here? I think we're just sort of going in circles. Oh, <laughs> maybe that's the way we came in. All right, we're in circles. We're in circles, left or right, left or right. We can't go left. That's a dead end. That's a good thing. That's a fun thing, isn't it, about being in a maze. You just don't know where you're going. I think I was actually here before. Let's go back this way. Where All right. are you? Where am I? I'm over here. Uh, I hear a voice in the distance. Yeah, um, here? I think. Oh, oh there you are. I don't know, I, I don't know how we can find exit. Alright, we've got to find an exit somehow. As I said, I think these hedges are too... Look at that, they are way too high even for me to put the selfie stick up. Alright, so we can't find our way out, so I've got to try and put the selfie stick up as high as I can go to try and find our exit. Alright, let's see if we can do it. I don't know whether it's going up high enough. Oh, I heard a voice over there somewhere saying it's there, so I'm not sure if you can see up there. Alright, so I, <laughs> I'll have to have a look back and see if I can actually see over these hedges, but they're just so tall. I heard a voice say, I'm over here. Sounds like there's an exit coming up. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Is Hang on, that sounds like it's coming left. We'll see. We'll see. She's on the other side, but I still don't know. Oh, maybe. All right, let's. Right. My gosh. Oh, there we go. We may have found the exit point. Ah, oh, here we are. Oh, we're out. All right, so we are actually back out in one of the first starts we looked at where that beautiful little garden and we'll probably head down here a little bit, check out the, I think they've got the rose maze. Now, I don't think that'll be as tough as this maze. I tell you what, that was pretty tough. We got a little bit lost in there on that second part. But look at the rose maze down here. We should be able to see, you know, through that a little bit easier, so it should be all right. I'm just gonna have a little bit more of a look at the gardens. All right, so it looks like they've even got a little bit of a veggie patch this will probably be organic for possibly the cafe when they got that up and running but they've got some beautiful i think that's purple cabbage have a look at 
They've got a zucchini over here. That's huge. Let's go and have a look at that. Zucchini. And look at that compared my the size of my hand there. That's huge. That is huge. So it looks like they've got a little bit of corn there. I think they've got some tomatoes there. Not sure what that is. Got some beans there hanging up. A bit of pumpkin. So they've got a good bit of stuff. And of course there's the purple cabbage just there. And of course they've got some capsicum. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Coming to the next section of the gardens here. I'll tell you what, this is actually quite nice because it's a warm day here today. It's about 30 degrees. Nice little ponds there. Nice place to have a little bit of a sit and rest. A little bit of a stream going there, happening there. Have a look at that, beautiful. Into the water. Have a look at that coverage under here. Got some big hands down there. That looks interesting. We'll go and check it a little bit more. And of course, if you want to have a seat and relax, look at your photos that you've taken. You know, by this time, you've probably already taken about 150 photos because it's just so beautiful around here. But as you can see, the canopy's quite large, beautiful. Just blocking that sun out. Get a little bit of relief, especially here when it's summertime. So I don't know how many times I've said it already on the video, but this place is just pristine. They look after it so well. It's extremely well manicured, tidy, and it's just, it's just beauty to the eye of the person that comes in here and has a look around here. I tell you what, I am extremely impressed with this place. Now this is this place is actually out in the sticks a little bit, down on the Mornington Peninsula. So when you come here, you actually get a beautiful country drive, and then you come to this magical wonderland. So on the trip around, you can find these little gnomes, these little fellas, they're hidden out around the place. So if you can find it, there you go, lucky gnome. All right. So now we're into the rose maze. Now this was planted back in 1988. Of course it's about 35 years old. So it has got some good age on some of these roses. And I suppose if you come here in around September, uh, they'll be out in full blossom and they'll be absolutely gorgeous. There's still a few roses out. There's many, many, many different species of rose. Of course, we'll try and, we'll try and find a few as we go along. But the one good thing about this maze you can see where you're going. But there are absolutely plenty of roses here. Okay, so I might have been a little bit wrong <laughs> with being able to see you can get there easy. I'm still struggling to find the middle of this rose part where to go. Because it's all black, so it's a little bit, uh, that's a little bit sort of camouflaged on the green leaves. So we're still trying to track it down, how to actually get to the middle part. Dead end, dead end. I don't know, we'll find a way. so I think we have found a way so sometimes they say you've just got to stop for a while and smell the roses well I stopped I smelled the roses I tell you what that's got a beautiful perfume mmm you can't beat the old roses can you with the beautiful perfume all right we found the middle let's get on to the next adventure so one other thing before I leave the rose garden, if you come to the rose garden here and you go, what is each rose? Well, all the rose names are there on the species. And of course, absolutely beautiful. So you won't go without not knowing what roses they are. They're all there on the board for you to know what they are. All right. So we're off down the beaten track, down on the pathway. I'm not sure what's down here. I know they've got a, a lake down here. They did have a lavender, a big lavender section here, so I'm still trying to find that. But it's beautiful. You can come under the trees here, just have a walk, just enjoy it. I tell you what, it's very peaceful. 
very peaceful out here. You get the occasional people that are a little bit noisy, but you find these sections out here. And I always talk about serenity, folks. Well, this is serenity plus out here. You can just hear a little bit of the waterfall, the birds chirping, a bit of breeze in the leaves. That's magical. This is serenity plus, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful place. We'll just come down here. And we'll have a little bit of a look at the little little lake. Beautiful. Look at a reflection in the water. That's stunning. So you definitely get a uh, a few nice pictures with that. Take a little bit of a walk around the outskirt, and of course, you can head back up to the other little bit of the garden, which is gorgeous. We're going to head up there very very shortly. And of course, down here on the Mornington Peninsula, it is wine country as well. So there's plenty of wineries to stop in, have a look, try out your favourite wine. You never know, you might end up walking away with a couple of bottles of delicious. I will just take a little bit of a walk. Walk around the lake there. Take it all in. As I said, it's a beautiful place here. Have a look at this. Like, there's no one, no one down this section uh, here so if you're looking for a, a bit of quiet time then this is a good place to come on the property here and of course if you want to venture down a little bit more they've got another lake down the bottom here got some beautiful lilies down there if you want to take some photos but you're just out and amongst the countryside here got a big windmill there we'll have a bit of a poke at that if we can see it we can see it through the trees there pretty good that's all for the water but just beautiful so this is a beautiful lake this would be probably one more for the wildlife down here any of the wildlife birds etc they'd love love it down here as you can see a lot of lilies just there and of course on the other side you got some pink ones you got some yellow ones the only thing about walking down this section folks you just got to watch out for snakes if there is any I always say bring your camera you never know look someone's trying to get right down there don't fall into the water take a few pictures all right so we've been way back down there into the bushland a little bit had a look at that lake the two lakes down there now we're gonna head back up here through the bushy bit have a look at another water feature. Little fountain and a beautiful spot just to come and rest. They've got a rotunda here, so it should be pretty good. I might actually take a five minute break <laughs> when I get up here. All right, so just walking up from there. Have a look at that beautiful little water feature. You've got the rotunda there where you can go up and have a sit. Hopefully the seat's there. I haven't had a look at that yet. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But it's just beautiful. So you can hear the water fountain, water feature. It goes up pretty high. You can just sit and relax, listen to it. Another beautiful feature here at the maze. So with this water feature here, it's got like a little waterfall. It's nothing big, but it's got seven tiers and it runs all the way down to the bottom and then into that lake. So it goes all the way down there. Beautiful. All right. Here we are, we're up at the rotunda. We're gonna have a little bit of a look at that. It's just another beautiful, beautiful setting here. We'll have a little bit of a look at that in just a moment. Let's go and have a look at the rotunda. And if you wanna have a little bit of a rest, this is definitely the place to do it. So as you can see, Ira's having a little bit of a rest there after the big walk down there. And of course, if you wanna have a little bit of a look view isn't that spectacular as i said grab your photos enjoy the sound of the water feature looking through down there into the countryside also enjoy look at these beautiful colored leaves i'm not sure what type of flower that is but also pretty 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 of course you've got some more roses up here you've got some flowers and of course you've got this beautiful area over here where you can Sit, relax, enjoy, let the kids run around. It's definitely a good place to uh, to come and have a rest. Well, I've got the gorgeous big trees there. It's superbly set out, as I always say, folks, superbly set out. Well manicured. 
got these little these little cute little waterfalls here look at that isn't that gorgeous and then you can take a seat over there if you want just to relax in front of the water so from the rotunda the area is just very very pretty you got the seat there you got the diamond shaped hedge and of course I said they'll come and prune these probably three to four times a year keep them in shape but they love all that the lines and everything here are quite good if you have a look at that hedge there how beautiful neat that is right across the top down the side and they've even got the odd apple tree here so that'd be quite good when they're in fruit you know if you're a little bit hungry shh, don't tell anyone grab an apple it could be your lunch so we're at this section now that's a pretty cool section this is actually a lavender they've got a big section here on the lavender of course at the moment there's a little there's a little bit of lavender out and of course a other little bit of the part they have pruned it back a touch as well but as you can see there is a lot of lavender here we'll have a little bit of a walk through here through the lavender garden it's quite nice i suppose when the lavender are all out though you have to be probably a little bit careful of the bees as well as you can see you've got a few butterflies there flying around try and get a better better view of the light behind our backs and of course we can come up here and get a bird's eye view over the lavender section so it's pretty big pretty big so that's just another nice section of the property here How beautiful bit of lavender nice purple I'll probably use that for I don't know, quite possibly maybe food or essential oils, whatever they may grow. It's still got the bees, bees there having a little bit of a pollinate on them. So from the lavender down there, so they'll actually pick all that and they've actually got a drying hut, which is right here. So this is where they dry all their lavender. All right, so we'll have a little bit of a peek in here at the drying hut and there's the lavender there all hanging upside down all drying as you can see that looks pretty well dried out so that well may be ready for them to come and grab now all right so when you can't find whoever you've come with they've got some bells here if you just ring them you know where they are this is the place to come <laughs> if you're lost and they'll know where you are with the bell chimes and of course when you see one of these you've just got to hop in it all right folks well that was a little bit of an adventure a tour around here at Ashcombe Mason Gardens down here at Shoreham what a fantastic place the uh, the big hedge mazes which took a little bit of time certainly for us to get out of the second one and of course the rose uh, maze there that was uh, fantastic as well as I said come September they would be magnificent all the roses would be out in bloom of course I've got the lavender field the lakes the beautiful setting absolutely pristine it's definitely a place I highly recommend now this place was originally owned by the Burson family and that was a, a cattle and sheep farm and that was in their family for generations but of course later on it was sold to John and uh, Sally Daly who transformed it into this beautiful place what we see today and of course we've got to thank them that uh, it turned out like this and of course we can all come and enjoy the serenity and the beauty of this place and have a little bit of fun too trying to find our way around the mazes absolutely great day and uh, I can't highly recommend it enough get down here down at Shoreham down here in Victoria down on the Mornington Peninsula here in Australia folks so yeah just another beautiful place to come down and visit when uh when you got some time drop on in but if you like the content uh i keep on dropping for you don't forget to like subscribe comment share all that type of jazz we'll certainly appreciate it and uh yeah head down to the join button if you want to have a look and become a member of the everyday family i certainly appreciate it all right folks that's about all i've got for you this time around on this adventure so until next time ciao for now and we'll see you in the next vid Thank you.